Riley, I've got a video idea for you. You're one province minor. Done that, Tom. But this time, you go E for sweaty mode and you play tool. Okay. Uh, why? But you can't conquer any new territory or have vassals or expand in any way or have any sort of fun. You must play E for sweaty meta. That might be the worst idea I've ever heard, Tom. It's not good. Nah, E for map gamers will love it. You'll see. I'm not doing that, Tom. I'm not doing it. <sighs> Guess I'm doing it. Right, you've read the title, you've watched the intro, you know exactly what we're trying to do here. This is the order of the ducket. Here are my ideas. Uh, we start out obviously with uh, construction costs and development costs to the max. We start out with some decent ideas, goods produced modifier, innovative gain, this sort of stuff. This is all meant to help me reduce this as much as possible. So right now it's down to about 41, which isn't too bad. Obviously I want to drop that a hell of a lot lower. I've had to make some compromises. Uh, of course, I could be starting in India or in Japan, and that would give me like a further minus 20% if I, if I was able to build out the monument. But uh, you bastards seem to not click on anything that's not Europe, so blame yourselves. <laughs> also, our, uh, our leader, of course, is Mayor Scrooge McDuck. I could have gone for Ebenezer Scrooge and, and been true to the Christmas spirit, but I think Scrooge McDuck is going to resonate with you all a bit bit more. So how I'm going to be playing this is I'm going to be playing Tool. Uh, did you expect anything else? Which means there's going to be a lot of editing because I'm going to be sitting here doing nothing but clicking these three buttons for a while. Also, you might be able to see that we don't actually have a flag. Uh, that's because we were too cheap to pay someone to put any sort of emblem on it. I will, however, be trying to meddle in European affairs as much as possible through things like, you know, money and condottieri and stuff. So I want to see how much impact I can have whilst only controlling directly this province. I need to vote in favour of, uh, where is it? Here we go. Rice form, that's another 5%. We're about to hit levels of nerd you've never even seen before on this channel. Right, we're not going to need Diplo power for a while. We're going to need our mill power to save up for quantity ideas. We're going to need our admin power to save up for eco ideas. Also, I'm English. I, I was trying to experiment with, take, with becoming Anglican, because that gives another minus 10%, but I then didn't switch it back. So I suppose now I'm just English. I think I'm to get rid of the castle. There's not much point in me paying that amount of money for a nation that is never going to be at war. Well, at least I hope not. If I get attacked by someone, I'm pretty defenseless, actually. I, I should probably get allies, actually. All right, national ideas, which means we have to take economic ideas for that sweet, sweet, sweet development cost. Minus 20%. Now I'm just going to aggressively pursue economic ideas. God, you really have to meta the hell out of this game when you're playing Tool, don't you? Because I'm considering holding off on getting any economic ideas until I have Admin Tech 7, because then I get a new set of ideas. And then I can get um, quantity. I've never had one of these cool things fire, you know. Oh, gain one base tax with gain of stability. Well, come on. Obviously the base tax. England and Bohemia want condottieri. <gasps> yes! Condottieri time. Mark the dispenser. <laughs> of course I put Mark the dispenser on it. This just alleviates my boredom a little bit, I won't lie to you. This is a bad time to mention that I hate playing tall in all Paradox games. I really despise it. It's never fun. What do you mean he's disappointed? I am participating. I don't I don't know what you want me to do, Bohemia. I'll kill myself. Look, watch. Is that what you wanted? It is apparently what you wanted. Okay, sure. Condottieri clients are disappointed in me. I'm actually really upset about that. I've, I've been trying over here. Ordinarily I wouldn't, but I actually have been trying. Oh, they won. Well, how am I meant to get home now? You've screwed me over here. My troops can't move. Bohemia, why? He's killed 5,000 of my troops. If I wasn't playing tall, I'd be over there in a second. I'm going to fund your enemies, Bohemia. Mark my words. Anyone who doesn't like Bohemia is now a friend of mine. And spread from non-quarantined provinces to adjacent provinces. Sorry, lads. I'm not going to quarantine. I'm, I'm performing bio-warfare. Local development costs are minus 10%. Oh, yes, please. All right, we can finish up. Smithian economics, thereby giving us minus 20% development cost. I just realized if you bring up E4 in this context, in any sort of conversation outside of someone who also plays E4, you're going to sound like a madman. And also France has invaded England. Right, we can start getting this development cost icon as well. See, now we're starting to get the ball rolling. All right, that's admin tech seven, which means that we can get quantity ideas. Now, why do we want quantity ideas? We want it for this policy. Only cost minus 10%. Basically, this is another stacking modifiers video and you just didn't even realize. What? Why? Just, the English Dead Warriors watched and Marshall just killed 3,000 of my men for no reason. That's the most unnecessary thing I've ever seen in E4. So something's occurred to me. Uh, just because this is a tool run doesn't mean it necessarily has to be a pacifist one. There are four people I'm going to fight now and I can pillage the capitals of each of them. Uh, assuming I win. 
Oh, here they are. Right, excellent. Okay. And that theoretically should be the War 1. Right, and that's the last siege on 930 days. So our capital is currently at 30 development. Uh, it's worth zero? What do you mean? Okay, so that capital is just not worth pillaging. Brilliant. So now we have a couple more Orthodox Princes in the HRE. Uh, and that gave me literally no development. So essentially, a complete waste of time. Lusatia? I don't think I've ever seen that nation. They have their own ideas? What the hell are you? Oh, I might have to make a video on you. And with that, we have finished economic ideas, giving us this. Well, I suppose it was economic and also constant ideas. But that's a minus 10%. I think that's the best we're going to get for a little while, at least. So I'm just going to pump the rest of my points into this. So now it costs 155 to, <laughs> to develop. No, Brandenburg, you can't declare war Lusatia like that. No, I won't have it. I won't have it. Your mill takes seven, a mill takes six. That doesn't matter to me. Come on, buddy. Hold on. Just hold on. Call me in. Yes. Oh, God. Scrooge, it's your time. I'm really not sure why they've abandoned uh, the siege here. I'm coming in. Yes. He just called in Laumberg. You're... Oh, you're so sweaty, Brandenburg. There is no benefit to me doing this. I just like Lusitania as a nation. They just turned up out of nowhere. I've never seen them before, and I refuse to let them die. We want Lubeck to be at least 28 base stacks. Yeah, I can do that. So the plan. I got to make sure that to give this over to Lusania so they don't actually give it to me. Giving it to me would be the worst possible thing. <laughs> you white beast. Fair enough. I'd like to point out Scrooge McDuck has been in charge this entire game. He is 72 years old. I've had 72 years of a six admin power guy. No! Scrooge, he's dead! Huh. Completely forgot our troops were paper. But here's the thing about paper. Where one sheet might fail, several might succeed. Oh, hey, buddy. It's completely unnecessary. I could just win the war, but... It's much more fun destroying the armies afterwards. And there we go. Uh, I have been slowly converting everyone to Orthodox. This is good. That's just enough to induce a seizure, like... <laughs> Why? I have to, like, zoom all the way out so I don't... This is how to play the game. If I zoom in too close, it hurts my eyes. Just go over there and protect it. Do you need to protect it right in front of me? Well, lighty lads. Most of this challenge is sitting here watching the game play itself. This is awful. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I hate it. I can't pretend anymore. This is, this is terrible. No one should ever play tall. Playing tall is stupid. Because now we're at the stage where I get to click this button like once or twice every so often. <laughs> that event that just... It's a, it's a standard event that gives plus one base stacks. But that is literally worth 300 now. 450 points. All right. Next idea group. Goddamn, finally. I'm thinking innovative ideas is probably quite a good one for the advisor costs, because that's going to help me quite a bit. Otherwise, I can't see anything else that's directly to do with development. It's more just sort of money, and I don't need money nowadays. So probably innovative ideas. I think my aim is to push this to 999. I've got a 1,000% modifier. Oh, Jesus. See, now I'm upset because I just found out that this stupid thing blocks slave raids. Obviously, there's no point in me getting it here, but you're telling me I could have stopped the North Africans raiding me at any time. I've been- I've got- I just ticked over 2,500 hours in this stupid game, and I just found that out. I mean, just sort of for want of something to do. Uh, go on, Lusatia. Get in here. Well, there goes that one, eh? Uh, not about to fight the bloody Poles. So sorry, you enforced peace on me, but not the Swedes. That's a bit galling. I'll take my frustrations out elsewhere then. It's actually cheaper now to take tech than it is to take my... Uh, to develop a province by one more. It's really stupid. Right, Lundberg. You're looking a bit too Catholic for me. You can pillage your capital, but there's nothing. However, you can still pillage if you like. It'll just be malicious. Yeah, well, that's... That's the plan. Literally no reason for doing that apart from making them all uh, orthodox. I suppose it was malicious. God, everyone in the mother is attacking bloody Denmark. But you stop me. No one else, you just stop me. I've already pillaged everyone around me, so I keep on pillaging for fun, but... 
it's just not the same. They're already orthodox, I can't really do anything to them. I'm just maliciously pillaging their nation. The conquest of Astrava, you say? No, 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 no. Alright, let's get out of this wall quickly so I can go and save these guys. I will not have bohemian aggression go unanswered. Pretty sure innovativeness is 100 already, so that's a bit of a useless idea. This entire concept is useless. It's just about really stretching things that, to be honest, don't need to be stretched. Just humiliate him. Just again, I just sort of attack out of sheer board. Right, buddy. Tag me in. Yeah! What's up, Bohemia? Remember when you killed 5,000 of my troops? Remember that one, buddy? No, I'm taking this back instantly. I don't care. I saw the advantage of having all this money. Where's the free company? The free city company. Thank you very much. My troops might not be good, but once again, there's quite a few of them. And there's a stack white. Holstein declared war in Denmark. Oh my god, the Danes are gone. There are no- there is no more Denmark. We'll probably fight the Swedes. Wait, how much development- <gasps> 27 development. Okay, yep, yeah, we have to do that. We'll fight the Swedes next. Oh, I've been waiting for this day of vengeance for a while. 5,000 troops, and I vowed I would get my revenge. And I'm pretty sure that sacking Prague is a pretty good way of getting my revenge. All right, I'm gonna hunker down for a little bit, raise some capital, and see what I can do about fighting the Swedes. Are you really gonna try and 100% this war? There's no point. You just lost your capital. What kind of peace deal do you have in mind? I'm kind of excited now. I want to see what mad concoction you have that is going to require this much war score that you can't get it done with 85%. It's just that he's going to pillage it. That does not cost 100% war score. Uh, just, uh -huh, uh -huh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool, so nothing happened whilst I was gone. Imagine if you could walk around the city in E4. That'd be really cool. I think I'd, uh, I think I'd enjoy that. And it's also me just losing my goddamn mind at this. It's got 90 development. More than most nations. Oh, look at that. One base tax. That is the best deal ever. 46 ducats for 533 admin power. How's Paris doing? Pfft, 38. Oh, sorry. 32 development. London. Oh, God. Look at that development cost. It would only cost me 18 to develop London, which is a 24. How much? Like, what about? It would cost me five. Oh, man. You'll see why I'm doing this in a second. And no, it's not just to bully everyone once again. Although that is kind of fun. Right, now I'm going to save up as much power as possible. So that's 999 in each category. So we're just going to sit here for a little bit. Can't believe I've sat here for a third of the goddamn game. A third of an entire game of EU4. All right, I'm going to take this province. I know, I know, it's shocking. But I'm going to take this province. I'm going to declare this challenge finished. I'm going to declare Tom an idiot. I'm going to declare myself an idiot and you an idiot. All of us are idiots. Me, Tom for coming up with the idea. Me for doing it and you for watching this entire thing. You got some problems, buddy. Thank you very much for watching. But why? I've sat here for a hundred years. A hundred years. And we developed to 90. I could have done so much more. Like in a hundred years, I could probably could have conquered most of Europe. Anyway, I want to show you right now how powerful my buffs are because right now 547 it cost me to develop once i'm gonna take this one province oh my god that feels so good we lose our minus 20 percent or whatever from uh from not being a free city anymore but at this point i, I don't care i'm actually gonna time this perfectly to the start of the game in 1444 right here's what we're gonna do holstein is a going to be a state we're going to add the local development cost on it and we're just going to develop the hell out of it. So it started on what? Like five developers or something? Just so you know how much this stacks. Look at it. It's 52 development now. It's now almost double the size of Paris. You see why playing tall on one province is so stupid, Tom. Look at it. My province isn't even double the amount. That took me 15 seconds. It took me 100 years to do this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ah, okay, I've lost my mind and that's usually a good sign I'm gonna end the video So ladies and gentlemen if you enjoyed watching which I can't imagine that you did But if you did be sure to like the video and subscribe Let me know in the comments down below what you thought and uh, any sort of future challenges you want I have a couple of much better ideas than this one. Oh God in any case lads. I'll see you next time Goodbye <laughs>